Today, in this video, we will explain the differences between public and private IP addresses. As a simple comparison, you might think of a public IP address as your name that you go by at your work and in day-to-day -day life. However, a private IP address is more like a nickname you have in your friend group and no one else besides them knows. And for those looking to acquire a bit more technical know-how, let's dive deeper into the inner workings of IP addresses. A public IP address is a unique identifier that lets devices find each other and share the required information. With the help of various other protocols, an intricate data exchange system is created, which we call the Internet. A public IP address can be further categorized as static, dynamic, or shared. A public static or dedicated IP address is assigned to a single entity, be it a user, machine, website, or server. Here we can see how the connection request moves from the client machines to the routers. Upon reaching them, a static IP address is assigned, and the internet service provider keeps the same address as the request reaches the internet. We usually use static IP when accessing devices from a distance. For example, employees work remotely and use a VPN client to connect to the office server with a static public IP. A public dynamic IP may change depending on your ISP in various network settings. For example, most residential and small business ISP customers receive dynamic IP addresses that might change daily, weekly, or monthly. Let's compare a public dynamic IP to having a phone number that changes every so often. It only becomes a problem when someone is trying to call you, so they need a phone book that updates every time your number changes. A dynamic IP address is a standard for almost all consumer equipment. Likely, you are using it yourself right now to watch this video. And lastly, a public shared IP address is assigned to a group of devices by the ISP. In this case, a network address translation protocol is used to differentiate where the data packets must go. The shared IP address also enables devices with private IP addresses to reach the internet and can also be used to host multiple websites on the same server. Now, let's move on to private IPs. Devices using private IP address can only freely communicate within their shared internal network and cannot directly connect to the internet or be accessed from it. Teltonica Networks RMS allows you to connect directly to the device with a private IP that can be reached from the internet side. Let's take an example of three routers without a public IP address, connecting to the internet via their respective SIM cards. All of the routers have different private IP addresses. However, they are all seen as 84.15.186.115. So, all of the routers have the same shared public IP. But, if you try to access them from the internet using your shared public IP, you would only reach the ISP due to network address translation. Various public IPs serve different purposes when accessing the internet, while a private IP will ensure safe connectivity with an enclosed network. Also, keep in mind that the price of a public static IP can range depending on your ISP, and this makes opting for a private IP the less expensive choice. If you found this short guide helpful, click like on the video, subscribe to our channel, and let me know if you have any further questions down in the comment section.